getting ready to uh, set up my Hovabator. It's a 1601N egg incubator. And the first thing I do is I take everything out except for the uh, moisture tray. This is a glass of water. I add it to the first slot. Pouring it kind of slow until the slot is relatively full. Which would be about right there. Next I'm going to put the egg turner back in and uh, set it up. One thing that I do before I put the eggs in though is I let it run for a day and uh, then check the temperature and the humidity and if I need to adjust it either add more water or adjust the temperature up and down. Uh, the ideal temperature is 99.5 degrees so we'll get that set up. Going in next is the screen that keeps things from falling down into the water. Then next is the egg turner. It goes so that the screw faces up. It also goes so that um, that slot right there is on the side where the power cord outlet notch is at right there. You can see it. You have to excuse me, I'm actually holding on to this with one hand. Next, the egg turner motor goes in. It goes where that slot is at, above the slot on the egg turner. Kind of pushes down. Then you move the handle around and pull the egg turner back until the hole falls into the place there. Kind of see it. Next, there's a small screw that goes on. And I usually just do this finger tight. Can be kind of hard to get started, especially when you're holding a camera. Little nudge with the fingernail. Now that I've got that done, run the cord over next to where the outlet's at. As you can see, I've laid the thermometer in and I also put the humidity and temperature gauge in there. Um, I do that mostly so that I can monitor it for 24 hours um, to make sure that the temperature is correct at 99.5 degrees. Once I have that done, I have to put the top on. There's a notch here that matches the notch there to let that cord out for the egg turner. What I was actually talking about was there was a gap. I didn't have that right, the egg turner motor pushed down all the way against the styrofoam. So then now that I've got that fixed, I'll go ahead and put the top on. I'll come over to the corner where the cord is at. Again, this is not so easy to do one-handed. So now I have the top installed, I can go ahead and plug this in. Should hear the fan kick on. The temperature light that is heating up is also on. You can see that I can see the temperature is up there. So I will come back and check this in 24 hours. Just kicked on at 99.7 degrees at 52% humidity. Just kicked off at 100.2. And while it's off, it'll actually go up about uh, point two or three more. So I believe it's, you know, at about 106, it'll start dropping again, 100.6. So that is in range, 52% humidity. We are ready to add some eggs. For the next step 
you're going to need a pencil, a washcloth or a towel or a rag or something like that, and a collection of eggs. Now the pencil, you don't really have to do this, but I do it just to make sure that the eggs are turning. Um, I will take a pencil and just put a mark on the side of the egg somewhere. An X or something, just some kind of a mark. And then when I initially stick them in, I leave, I put the egg in on its side with a mark upward. And then when I check them next, I can tell that the eggs are turning. And you need the cloth to wipe off anything that is, see a couple of the eggs have got some chicken poo on them. And you need to wipe off as much of that as you can um, without touching them with your hands as least as possible. So I pick them up with a towel and then I use the towel or washcloth or whatever rag to wipe that off. If you put that egg in there like that, it's not going to be able to turn and it's going to hit one of those spots and then just pretty much stop. So that's why the eggs need to be clean. Okay, I have the eggs inside. You can see the temperature and humidity is dropped on the gauge. I'm getting ready to put the lid back on. And now I have the lid back on. I've put the temperature where I can see it. And I've also got the other uh, device back there. Today is uh, day one of 21. Now we're going to candle a few of these eggs to check their viability. I've had to add water a few times. You can actually tell that this shell is thinner because it is actually lighting up inside the egg. And I actually see a dark mass right there. And if I rotate the egg, I can see it move. So that's a good sign. There's actually, it uh, looks like this egg is okay, starting so to... Okay, so today fall. is day 18. Um, this is the day that we unplug the egg turner, which I've already done. And I've already added water to get the humidity up. I basically add water, wait about an hour, then check the humidity. And my target range is between 65 and 75 percent humidity and I'm sitting at 70 percent right now you can see it right there let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit better so 70 percent humidity I still have my temperature uh, in the in the same range now all we have to do is we want to maintain that 65 to 75 percent humidity maintain the temperature and in three days, we should have chicks start hatching.